This is the daily video update for Wednesday, May 26th, 2021. For the Unitarian Church of Lincoln, I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. I want to take some time this week to talk through the stories that we use in worship, that we use in this place of faith. Each time um, in Lincoln for the last four years since, since I've started here, uh, that we have a service that touches on or uses readings from either the Christian or Jewish tradition. Um, I get a few emails the week after, and uh, and I, I often respond to them directly, but I want to kind of back up and talk a little bit about what the process is of, of choosing and and valuing stories that we use in worship. And two things in particular that I want to talk about this week are how we tell our own stories, um, but also how we avoid appropriating stories that aren't our own to tell. Both of those get at how we bring our authentic selves to worship, but we'll start with the, the negative case about appropriation. Worship at its heart is about connecting the stories of our lives to something larger than us, right? And one of the ways that we do that responsibly is by not telling other people's stories without their permission. My grandfather tells this story. Um, years ago, he was in India um, and he was on a, a tour in India, and, and um, he's an amateur photographer, so he'd brought a camera. And he was in a place that, that was profoundly different for him. He'd, he'd never um, been, been there before, and so he was taking pictures, and at one point he, he saw this perfectly composed image um, of a woman standing um, against a backdrop and, and so he focused his camera on her and, and as he's watching through the camera she turns and looks at him directly and says no. And he tells this story as a moment of realization that um, the danger in being a tourist is that we tell stories that are not ours to tell. And in doing so, we, we dehumanize the, the person on the other side of that camera. The danger of appropriation in worship is a lot like that, right? It is, it is easy to oversimplify a tradition that is not our own. And in doing so, dehumanize the folks for whom that is their lived tradition. It's also, this emphasis on our own stories, is one of the things that separates worship from an academic lecture. It's a reflection of lived experience, not talking about what other people do. And that's where we'll pick up tomorrow. <laughs>